four crazy ocean animal hybrids. Number one is the Wolfen. It is a whale and a dolphin hybrid. This is actually a false killer whale and a common bottlenose dolphin female that reproduce to create this sort of terrifying but also adorable creature. It kind of looks like Free Willy, but as a demogorgon. Two, a Narluga. This is a narwhal and a beluga whale that actually somehow reproduced and created this amazingly adorable gray looking creature. And they have a really unique skull because you can see here, they only have teeth on the lower jaw and they have no horn like a narwhal. Number three, a Pizzly. This is a polar bear and a grizzly bear that recreated this adorable, kind of smushed face looking bear. It really looks like my dog, but basically these creatures are absolutely adorable and they were actually discovered basically through genetic testing of a specimen that was found. Number four, balloonfish. These poor deformed looking creatures are actually a mix between all sorts of different species of fish such as gouramis, goldfish, cichlids, and mollies. And basically they're bred for their really unique shape that actually causes a spinal deformation, so that's horrible. Places you'll never visit, part four, the Bank of England vaults. Underneath the city of London lies 400,000 gold bars worth over 200 billion. They are held in vaults that are more than four times the size of the Wembley Stadium pitch. The bank claims there has never been a break-in. However, in 1836, while a meeting was taking place, a man was found tunneling his way in. Rather than punishing him, the bank asked him to show them the vault's floors and gave him a reward of 800 pounds, which is roughly 90 grand in today's currency. Even though you'll never be allowed in, they did once let in this little old lady, so you never know. Pick up a golf ball. You think it's tiny compared to you. I'm about to show you how inconceivably small you are. Pluto? Tiny. Our moon? Tiny. Earth? Also tiny. How about Jupiter? That's the biggest planet in the solar system, right? It's actually tiny as well. Well, I know the sun's massive, right? You'd still be wrong. Tiny. These other stars show us how small we really are, so really take a minute to think about that. Everything you see, it's from a small perspective. liquide qui réagit au champ magnétique. En fait, ça s'appelle un ferrofluide. J'en mets un peu ici. Le liquide réagit donc lorsque j'approche un aimant en formant des pointes et des formes super bizarres. C'est très étonnant, mais c'est assez cool. Le liquide, en fait, il est composé de nanoparticules de magnétite de l'ordre de 10 nanomètres, donc c'est tout petit. Et de ce fait, il va réagir au contact d'aimant. Les pics du liquide suivent en fait les lignes de champ de l'aimant et leur hauteur va varier en fonction du champ magnétique de ce dernier. C'est vraiment trop bizarre, on dirait un liquide extraterrestre, mais c'est trop stylé. I talked about this extensively with my friends. I call it the third world filter. You can tell that I'm not in the Philippines here. Also here. Even if you go under the sun, you can tell. See? It's our position in the equator with the sun and the earth.